always thought it was important for me, for those folks that reported directly to me and to those that didn't, but were still part of the ADPH workforce, to not only model the behavior, but to challenge them to be the best they could be and to aspire to do an even better job. At the end of the day, I think it comes across, if it's done in the right way, is really caring about individuals. I retired in the last of August after 27 years in public health and it had a career that I just fell in love with. In public health, our patient is the community and we seek ways to uh, improve the community's health. University of South Alabama was just an incredibly good choice in terms of being a solid foundation. I feel like the education that I got was very positive. I had had such a good experience at South, I had a sense of comfort with it, and so that's why I ended up staying. Many considerations when I retired is I had done four years of mission work to the Dominican Republic. In the last two years, as state health officer, the legislature meets during that time frame, so I couldn't get away. And that just left a hole in my heart, to be honest. And I'm happy to say I'm going to go back after a two year gap. And what little bit I can do to improve the lives of folks in that short amount of time, um, I want to continue to do. This is a dream come true. We fell in love with Prattville when we moved here 25 years ago. And the opportunity to get this um, property, uh, it's something I could never have predicted. I am appreciating the privilege and the blessings I've had throughout life, whether it's family or professionally. I mean, he's just a good person. He's just there for anybody that ever needs him. Um, he does so much for us, where he works, the community. is an incredible honor. I know there are a numerable number of people I know personally that are much more deserving of, of such a recognition than, than I consider myself to be. That said, the fact that I have been nominated for this award is just, it's one of the things I would put in the top four or five honors that have come my way. The fact that it's from the University of South Alabama, an institution that you know, if you think back to those early days, I'm the sixth med school class, uh, and to look at how far it's come and what a role it's playing, not only in the community, but in the state and in the nation, it just makes you extremely proud to look back and be able to say, I, I was part of the University of South Alabama, and it was a part of me and continues to be.